Well, it's been so dry this summer, there's a good chance that you haven't run into many mosquitoes, but that does not mean the Metropolitan Mosquito Control District isn't out looking for them. So how do they treat for mosquitoes? Good question. Heather Brown took one for the team in Dakota County. This very muddy wetland. So I'd call this a swamp. Yep. Inside of Lebanon Hills Regional Park is Brian Feldhake's summer office. You'd call it a breeding site. Yep. <laughs> Typically, we'll come out here with our dippers and see if we can find mosquito larvae. Right now, there isn't a whole lot in this one. Actually, there's a tiny little one right there. Oh, yeah, I see it. He sends the larva back to their lab in St. Paul to see if this kind of mosquito would bite. And they will kind of give us the kind of red light or green light as far as should we treat it or not. Brian makes this all look much easier. Than it is. Trying to save you. Don't save me. Let me go. Just okay, back on track. So Brian can kill the mosquito babies before they become full-fledged bugs. What is all this? So this is a, a backpack applicator. He's just one of 200 people who do this work across the metro all summer. Today, he's blowing out dry pellets called methoprene. It interrupts their normal hormone process. So the mosquito pupa never becomes an adult. It's a different treatment than the one that comes out of the helicopters. That's called BTI. It's a soil bacteria that's naturally occurring. And it's carried through dried up kernels of corn to take out mosquito larvae. It basically gives them a fatal stomach ache. WCCO weather watcher Phyllis from Farmington. Isn't it true, Phyllis? Has seen mosquito control choppers near her house. Is it unsafe to be outside when aerial spraying is underway for mosquitoes? Does Phyllis have to go inside? Nope. Uh, <laughs> A lot of people think it's actually very entertaining to watch uh -huh. the pilot. But we should clarify, you're not spraying a liquid material. No. Nope. Right? right. Just pellets that only interact with mosquitoes, not fish or plants or dogs or humans, whoa, whoa, whoa. even those with a bit of a bruised <laughs> ego. And I just want to thank you for not like belly laughing at me. <laughs> Heather Brown, WCCO. I've been there. News. That for sure got in the waiters. Oh, she's got mosquitoes <laughs> in her back pockets right now that were larvae in that story. I was just in a wetland for yeah. a story. They're no joke. They're pretty gross. Like even I didn't, I didn't fall in, but right. I had the creepy crawlies for like three days. I think we should just send a drone. We should check on her. Yeah. yeah, for sure.